Boy, it does not get more American than spending the 4th of July at the ballpark. And there's something extra special being cooked up for D-backs fans. I can't wait to get out there on 4th of July. You're going. I'm going to stay up late just to, to take advantage of this stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Team 12's Trisha Hendricks live at Chase Field this morning with a look at what's on the menu on the 4th. Trisha, what you got cooking? Yeah. My smile just got a whole lot bigger, you guys, because check this out. Oh my goodness, red, white, and blue nachos with beautiful red jalapenos if you like it hot. Executive Chef Steven Tilders here with the D-Backs. This is an amazing gig you have here. How did you create all of these delicious things for the fourth? I don't know, you're kind of putting me on the spot. <laughs> I just kind of think of what's fresh and you know, kind of put the local piece into it. You know, what's traditional fourth of July food, kind of put my own little twist on it, make it something a little out of the norm. So you brought all of this out here for us and it's fresh. It's starting to melt. It's that fresh. Talk about what this is. So popular at Father's Day. Yeah, you so, had to bring it back. Yeah, we did. So that's the apple pie chimichanga. So it's a whole wheat tortilla. We make a fresh apple pie. We put a whole slice of apple pie in it, roll it up, fry it, cinnamon sugar, caramel chocolate, whipped cream, some fresh strawberries. Super popular on Father's Day. Oh, that looks amazing. Next, this also has some whipped cream. Yep. You know how to do it. So that's the Stars and Stripes Biscuit Shortcake. That's two buttermilk biscuits, cinnamon sugar again, uh, vanilla frozen yogurt, chocolate, strawberry sauce, and uh, whipped cream. So it's nice, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Got a lot going on, sweet and savory at the same time. Yeah, sweet and savory. It could be a meal or a dessert. What about this one? So this we're calling the tailgate on a plate. So it's a all beef hot dog. We have baked beans, barbecue sauce, cheddar cheese, mustard potato salad, all on a soft bun. So it's your whole tailgate, your whole picnic, all in one little uh, tailgate item. Tailgate on a plate. And it really is. There's potato salad on top of the dog. <laughs> this, now we're talking fresh berries on top of fresh sure. squeezed lemonade, so and it's spiked. So that's the Li Liberty lemonade. So it's bourbon, uh, fresh squeezed lemonade, club soda, and then we have uh, some blueberries and fresh raspberries in there. So all of this is gonna be available on the 4th, yeah, and where right. can people find well, that? Well, there's select locations all over the ballpark. So, you know, any liquor bar will have the, uh, the lemonade. I mean, the biscuits will come from any of the yogurt portables. We have three locations for the apple pie chimney. We have three locations for the nachos, three locations for the tailgate on the plate. Earlier, I have to laugh, you said, we don't want anyone complaining that they didn't have enough of these on Father's Day. So you want to make sure anyone that wants the apple pie chimichanga can taste we it. We have it. It's here <laughs> for you. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to make sure they're here for the fourth just so they can get their hands on that. That's original, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's uh, it's very unique and it uh, goes really, really well together. I love this. How long have you been the executive chef here? I've been uh, here for three years. I've been doing sports and entertainment for 13. Wonderful. Well, you know how to cook up delicious food. I'm going to send it back to you guys, but first, what do I begin with? I think I'm going to have to try these red, white, and blue nachos. And <laughs> then the chimichanga apple yeah. pie. Go on. <laughs> do it. Oh. <laughs> she wasn't going to actually do it. She's going to pretend to eat it. No, we're going to sit and watch you eat the whole thing. Yeah. Well, she can't do too spicy. She's got the twins. Mm. All right. You go. Thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, you can't do it. Yeah. I'll do a thumbs up for her. Yeah, I have to have at least 300 calories for each baby. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. I love you so much. <laughs> and that is why I must have twins next, just as an excuse <laughs> to eat more.